It's like I write you really? emails sometimes. Oh my gosh, Miss. No, I didn't. I didn't get that. I I haven't been to school since oh. last August. You know. Okay. Okay. So I don't no, know if there's going to be marbles right now. How are you doing? I'm okay. I committed to U of L. I'm going to go for political science. Hey, listen, I thought you were going in music. They got a great music department. You're going to minor in music, maybe? No, I'm actually going to minor in economics. I hope it's Keynesian economics. I don't know what that means, but... John Maynard Keynes, come on. You had me as a teacher. That's deficit spending. That's what Biden is doing right now. That's that's what we're learning about in political science. I'm in political science this year. Yeah. It was the class that made me reevaluate everything. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I don't like music anymore. What? Meredith, not like music? What is the world upside down? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't like it enough to pursue it, but... I do write. That's that's actually what I'm here for. Um, I wrote a song called Dear Mr. Congressman. It was originally about Mitch McConnell, um, but I modified it just for our protests. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're going to protest down there? Good for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if I have to be there in spirit, because I got this half my face makes me kind of look like Quasimodo, you know, it's sort of, you know, it's uh, a bell. Have you ever heard of Bell's palsy? Yeah, my grandma has that. Well, it comes and goes with me. Sometimes it stays, and I don't want it to stay. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. It's life. I'm I'm not in a Syrian refugee camp. Life could be worse. <laughs> oh my gosh! I've missed you so much. I missed our class. Even though everybody I know we did have a good time in that class. You were a rowdy bunch, and that was a lot of fun. The others are so serious. They're going to be, you know, just like nothing but AP tests. Give me standardized tests. I, le I eat them for breakfast. And you all were like coming from every different angle, different talents, different um, parts of the spectrum of you know, mental stability. I loved it. <laughs> was I on the low end? <laughs> I no, you were, you were totally stable. You were like the anchor for that no. class, you know? Oh my gosh. Well, I'm happy you're going to UVL. That's going to be a great experience. Yeah, I'm super excited. Well, it's good enough if you're just excited, you know. It doesn't have to be super. Oh, the Frankfurt rally. Yeah, this could be something. I hope. Jesus. What is it with McKim? He won't admit he's wrong, even after the governor has vetoed his bill. Gee, many Christmas. Hey, Greg. Sorry for that little tirade. I just haven't seen Dr. Week in like forever. And like, oh, <laughs> that was just, this is a treat. I'm glad, I'm glad you guys got to reconnect. This is it. Oh, is yeah. It's been over a year. It it's has been. been on. So were you like a pandemic class? You guys were... Together. Well, it was cut off on March 13th, Friday the 13th of last year. And that was it. You know, we just thought, well, we'd be back in two weeks once the virus calms down. And it never did. So that was it. Uh, yep. Yeah. Well, Meredith, you ought to reach out to the to your classmates from that class period and invite them to come out Monday. I bet they would uh, enjoy this. I'll definitely reach out to Miss Monell. <laughs> Natalie Monell, how's she doing? Is she going to major in music or is she going to Belmont? Isn't that what I heard or something like this? No, we don't talk all the time. We have oh. one class together, oh. um, but I can always reach out if I need her or something or if I just want to talk to her. Um, but I, I thought she told me she was going to a music school like Belmont or something. I feel like she is. I think she's too good not to go into music, but then again, that's what people said about me. So... But I think I think she's gonna go into music because she she got a lot out of Y Pass. I got a lot of tears out of Y Pass. I mean, you know, it's a balance. And you know, I think your your singing legislator career could really blossom. <laughs> yeah. 
I have to play music about why not, why not both, as the mean says. Why not? Both? Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and hope that others can join us. And if not, they can watch the replay. Um, Greg and Meredith, you guys have not met yet, so uh, if you want to do just a quick introduction for each other's benefit, that would be really great. Greg, why don't you start? Sure. Uh, Greg Titchener, a, um, a longtime member of the Kentucky Alliance Education Committee and uh, EC teacher at Waller Williams. And uh, yeah. Gotten in trouble with uh, social and racial justice for a while. That's that's inspiring. That is really inspiring. Um, I'm Meredith. I'm turning 18 in a few weeks, and I'm a senior at DuPont Manual High School. And um, I've also gotten a little rowdy in activism recently. Um, actually, for a while. Um, but yeah, that's me. Excellent. So as you're watching uh, these slides, as we go through these slides, be thinking about groups that you guys might be involved in or people that you know that are involved in organizations that might be interested in this because this is a tabling event. Uh, anybody who wants to come down Monday and set up a table, uh, we're, we're putting out, we don't have the tables to offer, so it's bring your own table. But um, as you watch this, think about it, not just from your own uh, lens, but people you know that might also be interested because um, we can really make a, a nice, uh, have a nice presence there uh, Monday and Tuesday. So this is the calendar. Uh, the bottom two days there is where we are. The 29th and 30th are the final two days of the legislative session. They happen to also be the 29th and 30th um, of the month. You can see we're in, we're currently in a 10 day veto period. You've heard the news that Governor Bashir has vetoed a number of bills. Uh, I sent them a list of uh, four or five bills that we wanted vetoed, and I'm not saying that they did it because we asked, because we weren't the only ones asking, but um, he did veto four of the five that we requested, so that was good news. Um, the only one that's still uh, out there that I'm aware of is uh, House Bill 133, uh, which is the one that makes it easier for them to force uh, tax increases to be on the ballot, lowering the number of signatures required. So um, that's targeting JCPS, obviously. The weather for Monday looks fabulous. Tuesday as well, it's going to be sunny and a light wind. So plan accordingly. We're gonna be outside the whole time. The Capitol is closed. We will be outdoors on the terrace between the annex and the Capitol. There's a, a chance of rain on the second day, a greater chance of rain. Um, and depending on how Monday goes, we can wing it. Let's do Monday right, let's do Monday well, and then it's scalable to Tuesday if that's what we decide needs to happen. This is the schedule of events as far as I know. On the left-hand side, I uh, have just listed some things as I've either heard about them or sequence them together so that it fits with what we're trying to accomplish. And um, we've got a couple of people. In fact, Greg is one of the one of the two that have signed up so far to help us put banners along the route. I drove, I just got back from Frankfurt today and uh, looked for some places where we might hang some banners. And I found a few uh, places that I think would be good ideas. So uh, me, Greg and Bob Iden probably need to just exchange a few text messages sometime this weekend and and see if we can get on the same page and then head out early Monday morning and scout for some locations and get them, get them. Uh, you may need to stand with them uh, until the traffic uh, has had a chance to see them. And what we're trying to do is, is identify a couple of uh, main arteries that the legislators are likely to have to go past. So we know they'll see our banner. And even if you're just standing out in front of McDonald's for an hour while they're coming in to report uh, to their committee meetings, uh, that's fine. If you find a good overpass or something where you can hang it and you think they won't uh, come and run you off, even if you want to hang it with bungee cords and then come on down to the to the protest, if you feel comfortable, then you know that's that's your call. Bob does this uh, for me uh, for has done this for me for other things, so he's got, and I'm not the only one he, that he's done this for, but I don't want to tell his secrets. Um, but 
I think that he has the know-how to, to find a good spot and accomplish the goal. So um, he and Greg are going to, we're going to delegate that to them for the most part. Um, at 8.30, so what, what we need to probably do is pick a, a rendezvous point and a rendezvous time. And uh, I have been meeting people at the parking lot uh, at Sam's off of Blake and Baker. Uh, it's a good place to meet up and then we can just caravan over to Frankfurt. So if we wanna be uh, arriving in Frankfurt around 8.30, which would be the, the goal, I think, because the as you can see on the right-hand side, the committee meetings start around 9.30. So they're gonna start arriving uh, probably earlier than that. Some of them will probably arrive 6, 7, 8 a.m., but the main traffic most likely uh, will start coming in between 8 and 9.30. So if we have our little, uh, what I'm calling a parade a -cade. It's a little car caravan. We're going to come in and make a couple of loops around the main loop. And then we're going to strategically line up our cars and just kind of stand there. And we're not blocking anything. We're just stepping out of our cars and holding a banner so that wherever they came from, where they saw the banners under the bridge or what have you, uh, they'll see it again when they come on to the Frankfurt campus. So if we time it just right, you know, they'll run us off eventually or it'll be it'll become boring. But, you know, let's do it for as long as we can and just stand there and hold banners in front of our cars and they drive through and have to look at us. So that's around 830. And then uh, we've got the terrace reserve starting at nine. So we can we also have the uh, six or eight parking spaces in front reserved. So if we get there early enough and they haven't kicked our cones, uh, what she told me is the senators, the legislators will still come in and remove the cones and take those uh, primo parking spaces. So just because we have cones doesn't mean we'll get the spots. So we need to also send somebody to kind of keep an eye on those parking spaces. But we need them for the barbecue that we're going to be serving and giving away, as well as the ice cream. We want to make sure that our food trucks have primo location uh, so people can easily get their food and then come back and uh, chat with us and stop by our tables, stop by our booths listen to their, their constituents, uh, et cetera. So then as you can see, they go in um, at two o'clock, sorry, at noon, they go into their session, their chambers, uh, both the House and the Senate. So if we're gonna be feeding them lunch, we need to feed them by 11. We need to let the legislators cut in line, if you will, let them go first. Um, so we'll say, you know, unless you're a legislator, please wait until noon to come up to the food truck and get what, you know, your sandwiches and stuff. There should be plenty of food left over. Um, I've ordered enough food, I think, for 80 to 100 people. And so, uh, by the way, um, it would be great uh, if we can share the Cash App link and the donation link so that we can get uh, some of those funds back, if not all those funds back. Uh, in fact, let's make it a fundraiser and anything above what our costs are can be distributed amongst the organizations that are uh, participating, maybe according to the to the uh, to their level of participation. So, you know, um, the main organizations that are making uh, these investments and, and taking the risks out of pocket because um, it's not just me, uh, Raven with Red Barrel Barbecue. He has Stop the Violence, Put the Beef on the Grill, an organization. So, you know, as we raise funds, it can be distributed among uh, that group. Uh, LaTanya Bland is doing the ice cream. She has a math academy. You guys may have seen her out there promoting what she's doing for JCPS students. So she's doing the ice cream truck. Um, you know, we can figure that out. My, my um, my goal would be to just um, encourage people to maybe, uh, if they're getting, if they pick up a sandwich, you know, put ten bucks in, and that'll help us defray uh, the upfront costs, so that we're hopefully not uh, going broke. So there's a at ten o'clock there is a car caravan from AFL-CIO and JCTA and others. And if you noticed, Randy, you'll notice that they didn't say veto the pension bill. So they must still support it, uh, even though they're just tracking it. Um, this, I, yeah, don't get me started. I, that's all Brent's ego. I mean, if the governor vetoed the bill, that's a clear <laughs> signal that it's a POS. What, is, he will, what, huh? is, what, what must Eddie be saying and thinking? Like, why? why what the? 
don't get in. Oh my God, there went my French. I'm going to start swearing again. I don't know, Eddie. I ran against Eddie. I told him you're going to have to stand up to McKim. You are K E A. He's J C T A. But J C T A put so much money into K E A that McKim's got him by the nether regions, and so he just cannot stand up. I I think he's trying, but he won't do it against Brent. Yep. I know, but uh, you know, if he would just like answer our calls, Yvonne's been reaching out to him. So you really, know. he won't. He won't reply. So anyway, um, let me just finish going through the schedule, and then I'll see if you guys have any questions. Um, Young Prodigies is Nyree Clayton Taylor's uh, youth performing group. They're going to be there doing something uh, in support of the Crown Act. And they're coming, they're like marching onto the campus. So we'll, we want to look for them and cheer them on. And even if they're on a different part of the campus, we want to all kind of support each other, you know, draw attention to each other. Same with the um, caravan. Can I mention something about the Young Prodigies uh, tomorrow real quick to yeah. their, be at Roots 101 um, for an event that may turn into a block party kind of scenario, but uh, also in support of the... Uh, Crown Act and to recognize independent black uh, hairdressers that have been able to make it through COVID. Nice. Uh, yeah, Roots 101. Perfect. Um, and then 120 United has the terrace reserved at two o'clock. Uh, so they're going to be doing a press conference. So we've got both terraces reserved. And they asked me to cut my terrace res reservation short on Monday so that 120 United could have it. So we're going to actually vacate the terrace on the side of the Senate, uh, on the Capitol side, and just make sure everything that we have is on the annex side if we if we haven't said it's time to go home by then. Like by two o'clock, we may feel like, okay, we've done our thing and we can go on home and feel good about it. But if not, and we, people want to stay, the uh, annex on the, the terrace on the annex side is free for us to use. I mean... Two years, three years ago, 2018, right? Three years ago, um, the last day of session, April 13th, uh, was the same kind of situation. We tried, there were actually two days left, 13th and 14th. We tried to encourage people to come out. And it wasn't until the last day that they realized the importance of being there. And all these labor groups showed up. They bought, brought their big tents and their big blow up things and camped out all over the front lawn. So, you know, that it would be great if that happened again. So, you know, that's, that, let's, let's hope for that. But if not, we can make it work. We've got, you know, things planned. We've got food and, and entertainment. And Meredith has written a song for us. So um, let me ask you guys real quick if you have any questions about what's on this slide. And then I'm going to pause and ask Meredith to do her song if you guys want to hear it. Is that all right? Um, what, do, you, do you do GoFundMe or do you want just to check for a contribution? Anything that's whatever is easiest for you. I do have a cat app I just created. Uh, it's the first six letters of my name, so G A Y A D E. And if you also, we have a pack. So like the since we're lobbying, and we want to stay protected from um, any scrutiny that we might be using illegal, ill-gotten funds to buy people food or whatever they're going to say. Uh, any money that we're actually spending is coming through the pack. So if I need to take my cash app money and put it in the pack so they can pay the bills, that's what I'll do. So, you know, if well, I'm just- I, I ask because those like GoFundMe takes 8% Yeah. If, that, if you're doing that, but otherwise just a direct check actually gives more uh, yes. benefit for the donation, so. so. You can write the check directly to Kentuckians for real options. Okay. Or you can write it to me, whatever you- yeah, well, I think throw in a hundred bucks, you know, that'll buy a few sandwiches for the Democrats is. at least. Yeah. You know, don't don't serve the Republicans, please. Jesus. Well, we're going to ask them to at least give us their ear in exchange for a plate of ribs. In the sense of Van Gogh, that I would agree to. Uh, I'll point. I'll, oh, if only you were going to be there, Randy, because I'd have you set up at a table with a fake like butcher knife or something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, blood budget cuts. <laughs> and you have like fake blood down the table. You know? Jesus. Set up some oh blood. Oh my goodness. We are 
fun stuff. Cassie Clifford is another person who's coming and she is bringing her a, like a photo booth and some props. And so people, it's gonna have kind of a carnival-y kind of theme. She ordered a hundred little clown noses so people can walk around <laughs> with clown noses, uh, you know, on cue or whatever we decide to do. Um, and she's got backdrops for her photos. So we can we're gonna have just a, a boardwalky kind of a feel. Um, and maybe people will get excited and, and decide to come out last minute, first thing Monday morning, they see what's going on and they say, let's go to Franklin, you know, so it, it'll hopefully grow. The thing is the legislators know this and they will wait till 1030 at night to pull a fast one. And mm -hmm. they've done that before, yep. you know, cause people have been there since nine, 10 in the morning, they get tired. They go home three, four in the afternoon. They have to drive back some of them all the way across the state. The legislators are just kind of twiddling their thumbs, waiting for the crowd to dissipate. And then they do one of their uh, maneuvers. You know, that's, that's, that's the thing that really bothers me is that uh, they wait until no one's looking and then they try to slip it in at the last second. Right, I mean, I wouldn't put it past them to try to dick around with this schedule because they know we're planning around it now. So they'll change it. Mm -hmm. that's and then Brent will call and have a meeting across the campus somewhere. He'll have everybody convene over at KEA when our bodies need to physically be seen by the legislators at noon. Like he ma he magically has people arrive after everybody's gone into their into their chambers because he doesn't want them to actually feel the pressure. Like he's in on it. I'm sorry, but he is. There's, I feel there's no question. All the body language over the years is uh, very suspect. And he's just managed to drag it out instead of getting caught at, at any one thing that would put him over the top. So um, Meredith, I see you look like you have pulled up to your piano there. Do you wanna sing for us? I can't yeah, wait. You can go ahead and do that. All right, I'm gonna turn off my screen share so we can see you. Okay. Mr. Congressman, you let us down again. Do you know what you're elected for? Here's a hint to represent. And dear Mr. Congressman, how long has it been since you've listened to what we're asking for? For such a high paying job, you're severely unfit. We write you every week with all of our concerns. And it appears you only care about what you're getting in return. Oh, but dear Mr. We got our eyes on you. We know your time is running out before your career is through. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Dear Mr. Congressman, when will we come first? I know we're not some big shot lobbyists, but you've caused us enough hurt. And dear Mr. Congressman, Help us save our schools. We can stop it in the Senate. It depends on how you rule. We write you every week with all of our concerns. But it appears you only care about what you're getting in return. Oh, but dear Mr. Congressman, we got our eyes on you. We know your time is running out before your career is through. Oh my goodness, I messed it up. Okay, hold on. Dear Mr. Congressman, tell us how you'll vote. When it comes to HB 563, we advise you vote no. Dear Mr. Congressman, Bashir is a smart man. When it comes to his decisions, we you should let his veto stand. We write you every week with all of our concerns. But it appears you only care about what you're getting in return. Oh, but dear Mr. Congressman, we got our eyes on you. We know your time is running out before your career is through. So sorry for that in the middle. Um, 
That was great. We got to have the yeah, crowd. That was awesome. that. Can you it. like multi like copy that and let about 20 people sing at the same time? You know, while the congressmen are walking at women and two, everybody's walking across. You know, that's great, Meredith. <laughs> have the brain printed out and we could sing in the background on certain parts if you want us to just tell us what to do yeah it's singable a lot of people could learn it real fast yeah my favorite part is the um oh we write you every week yeah. with all of our concerns i think that would be really cool for everybody to sing along oh god the next joan baez isn't she awesome I think you made a good choice in political science and in protest singing. Singing legislator, yeah. I think that's what she'll be. Thank you. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go back. Thank you so much, Meredith. You are awesome. And I'm so glad that you are um, joining us on Monday. I can't wait for the, the world to see you. Um, I'm gonna share my screen again. If I can remember how it always, trips me up. That's just going to add color to the whole spirit. What might be black and white, that's going to give us a spectrum. That's really nice, Meredith. Thanks for sharing your gift with this protest movement. So the next slide I have is just the layout as you guys um, are already aware the annex is on the uh, top here and we're going to be in this yellow uh, we can be in this yellow area but I think the better place to be is on this side so I think we should set up our microphone and face out uh, it's got a nice big uh, cement looking uh, terrace here that looks out over the grass and so if we're standing up in front of that it looks kind of um, formal and sophisticated. And then we can have tables lining along, along the Capitol wall, the building wall, like all along here, there's electricity. So if people need to bring, uh, if they need something that needs electricity, they can bring an extension cord and bring, like I said, their own tables and chairs and handouts and giveaways and signs and posters or whatever, whatever they need to bring. Um, we've got plenty of room. By the way, um, I can't remember if it was on my previous slide. The right to life people will be there um, from nine to one. They'll be on the front capital steps over here. So we share this flat if they came around, especially once they figure out that legislators are going to come out of the annex to cross over the lawn to go to chamber. This is where the this is the door they go in. So that's why we're here, is they're going to cross by. They're going to grab their lunch and their whatever. They're going to check out our tables and then they're going to go to chamber at noon. So from uh, 1030 to, to 12 is really our window of opportunity to, to impress upon them as much as we possibly can. And when the right to life people are out here doing their protests and they realize legislators are over here milling around with us, they're going to want some of that action, I predict. I predict. So I think we should just be aware of that. We can set up our tables in a way that kind of create a wall on this end, depending on how many we have. So these are certain things that we can just do to make sure that we have uh, a safe and defensive posture, a protective uh, presence out there. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted us to have a, a call is to get everybody on those kinds of same pages too. Um, we've got the porta potty up here. I was down there today and I, I saw it, it's been put in. I even uh, locked it up kind of and put a sign on it that said uh, reserved for private event and put the Dear JCPS uh, logo on it. So um, people hopefully will leave it alone and we don't get there Monday and it's already full or anything. So um, we've got a food truck, a photo booth, um, the ice cream truck. Those are some real expenses that uh, I, I've agreed to, to make sure they're covered. So help me out. <laughs> help me out. Yeah, we can talk. I, I'm, I'm in. I'll, I can donate. Yeah. And I'm not even asking you to donate so much as just spread the word. Like, let's just, um, uh, what I was going to do is maybe make some signs for the event itself. 
uh, and put them on the food trucks and even on the entrance as people are coming in, maybe something like all are welcome, uh, suggested donation, $20, as if they're coming into some kind of theme park, you know, like you would pay at the door when you drive through the animal park or whatever. Or some goodwill pay, donation. Yeah, some will pay 20 and some won't pay any and it'll average out to 10 bucks and we'll get we'll get our expenses back, you know, any little bit, every little bit helps, but uh, maybe we'll actually come out ahead and can can put the money toward a future event because you know we gotta get, we gotta be able to keep this work going, uh, you know, and not keep draining ourselves each time. So um, let's see. I mentioned all those other things again. Any questions about that? I've circled the areas, although I think I'm gonna need that. Capital front steps. This is where the, the Crown Act performance is gonna be in the lower section of the Capitol steps. So they're gonna come up the street. Their marching band is, is supposedly, I haven't talked to her in a few days, so I don't know if they were able to get that, but the marching band was gonna come up the street and then they were gonna be doing their thing down here. And then when they get through, they can come around to the back uh, and hang out with us and use our microphone or whatever they wanna do. The thing is, is if they don't get here till afternoon, they're gonna miss that window. So I'm, I need to reach out to Nyree again and, and see if they can move their schedule up so that they get in front of the senators. The senators need to see them too. So um, we've got Jen is the point of contact for the 7 a.m. Monday caravan. So anybody interested in joining the caravan can just show up Monday morning at the parking lot between 7 and 7.30. And 7.30 is when we'll head to Frankfurt and if people want to paint their cars or whatever, uh, they can do that there too. I'm encouraging people to also bring pots and pans, things, you know, a spatula and a pan that you can, a cookie sheet that you can bang because we want to be able to get outside and make some noise when we see people being uh, maybe disrespectful or, or Jerry Miller walks through or whatever, why not make some noise, right? So um, we'll be courteous to those that we think we can sway, but there are some we know we can't sway, we know. And you know we should treat them the way that they are, is my opinion. But we can figure it out when we get there. Judge, it's better to bring your materials and be prepared uh, than to say, "Man, I, that would have been a good time to, to make some noise," and we don't have it. So bring your pots and pans and spatulas. And then, if you know anybody that wants to speak in that ten to two window, uh, Nicole Finley is the point of contact for that. Both of these. Uh, bits of information I think are posted on thepeoplesagenda.net. So I actually have put uh, this information out on the website as well. Um, you know, hopefully people that want to get involved are hearing about it and can figure out how to get the information. But I don't have that broad of a network. And plus, my name is kind of tainted in those communities. So, you know, if other people you, want... Go ahead, what? you mind backing up? I got Zeta Love 9 at a Okay. If you guys can share these links and take my name out of it, I think we'll have better luck too until uh, until people realize that I'm just a, just a, you know an old mom that cares about kids, you know whatever. They did it to both of us, Meredith, Randy too. All we were doing was fighting for what was right, and they smeared our names. So other people have to spread the word. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, these are the bills that we've been saying uh, need to stay vetoed. I've been adding to it as I as people bring me more bills that they are aware of. If you think anything needs to be added, uh, we can always add more. You know, what I want to do is take this list and email it to our decision making council so they can sign off on it. And so before I do that, you know, we're kind of having a committee meeting, if you will. Uh, we're going to say this came out of committee. Uh, if you guys have any changes to this list, let me know now. If there's anything we need to take off, let me know now. And then uh, otherwise, we're going to say these are the bills that we're opposing. And I want to point out, I haven't updated this graphic yet. I added HB 475. That's the one that AFL-CIO's carpool mentioned. So we want to be lifting up and showing solidarity with the other groups that are 
objecting to certain bills. So I figured let's support that because we know that's important to them. Um, the 10% late fee on a water bill during a pandemic, absolutely bad bill. Uh, Senate Bill 65, Patty Minter posted about that yesterday saying that it strips SNAP benefits from uh, parents that owe child support. And so it punishes the children uh, because of parents' mistakes. And so that's a bad bill. Um, Senate Bill 4 over on the right-hand side on the stop sign itself. Uh, I need to add it up here. It doesn't need to, oh, I didn't mean to do that. It doesn't need to be vetoed because it hasn't passed yet. Um, but it's still a bill we don't want to pass. So I think we should probably add another column. Let's see. Because I don't want to, um, I want to be able to say we, we oppose it. SB4. SB4 is the one that is the knockoff of uh, Attica Scott's bill. So no knockoff is what I've been calling that. No knock, no warrant. No uh no knock warrants and knock off bill. So no knock off, kind of a play on words. And then um, there's another bill. I think it is 309. I can go look, I need to look that up because I want to add that too. It's the, it's the House Bill 309, I think is the number where they it was Jerry Miller and Jason Namus. They came up with a knockoff of uh, the uh, civilian review um, uh, um, subpoena power. You know, we need subpoena power for the civilian review board to work. And so they worked with Morgan McGarvey to craft a bill that was what the Metro Council needed, what they voted on 25 to 1 to support. And instead of letting that bill gain any traction, Jason Namus and uh, Jerry Miller conspired to create a knockoff version that took away the, they're like, oh, it's everything you need except for that one piece that's really the whole reason you had to write this bill, and that is the subpoena power, because the mayor doesn't want to give it to anyone but himself because he wants to be able to keep, you know, his people protected. Uh, FOP doesn't want anyone to have subpoena power because uh, they're going to look into the police and see things that they don't want them to see. And so, the, of course, they're opposed to it. And then they're pointing fingers at each other, blaming each other. Blame, Jason Nemus is blaming the mayor. And instead of admitting that neither of them want us to have it, neither want the people to have it because they want to fa show the favors to their buddies or in the testimony that Jason Nemus actually gave to their clients. He called them his clients. So I thought that was an interesting Freudian slip. And I posted that on my Facebook today if anybody's interested in seeing that little clip. Um, but so I think it's House Bill 309, but I'll double check the number, but the description is what is important. And that is that it's the knockoff of the civilian review because we really want Senate Bill 245 instead. So these two, um, if it becomes possible to negotiate to the point, well, what do you want instead? You know, if they really do come over and give us their ear and then they, truly say they want to help, what do you want instead? Well, these are the bills we want instead. And then I even have another slide. Um, so we have to stop the knockoffs in order to get the good ones. So I've got Brianna's Law on this slide. I've got um, the redistricting that is fair and transparent because of the new census data. We want to make sure that it doesn't get gerrymandered worse than it already is. Uh, so that's an important bill. Senate Bill 77 is something Fayette County needs right now because they're trying to replace Manny Calk and they've got uh, a need for a superintendent screening committee that's uh, diverse and equitable. And so this, that's what that bill does. Uh, Senate Bill 245 was the civilian review power uh, Morgan McGarvey bill I just described. Out, House Bill 579 is the opt out bill. So that, you know, because we're going back into testing now, we need to empower parents to opt out. And then the Crown Act is on here too. So, um, that's the list of bills that I would like to vote on. Everybody agree to, uh, does everybody on this call agree that this is a good list of bills that we're opposed to? And is there anything you want to add or subtract? It's fine with me. I, yeah, I don't see any problems. All right. Then how about this list? This look, this look okay to everybody too, or do you want to add anything else? 
Do we have uh, the um, Attica put forth a uh, bill that's stuck in committee uh, around um, social studies curriculum? Is that on there? It is not. Do you happen to know that number? Uh, that. Give me give me a second. I'll look it up. All right. And I made these. I don't know if you saw these last time. Um, they're just things people can hold that have those graphics on them. I'll update them for for Monday with this new list. And I'm going to be at my print shop this weekend printing and assembling. If anybody needs to come up and borrow supplies or paints or whatever, I've got a I've got um, my boss is out of town this weekend, so I've got the key. And if we need to have a place to assemble anything. I've, I've got four banners already printed, uh, two foot by 10 foot banners. Um, I'm gonna be making signs and posters and uh, whatever else I can think of. So if anybody needs help with anything, let me know. I've got lots of supplies and stuff. Um, while you're looking for that number, Greg, Yeah, sorry. I don't want to get into my, I, I know it's under uh, Gmail docs, but I don't want to knock out all my uh, Jefferson County stuff. Uh, give me one second. I'm close. No problem. Um, I'm going to go ahead to, to this next slide and just talk about who our targets are. There's 100 uh, legislators in the House and 38 in the Senate. The Senate is a more uh, reasoned group, smaller number. Uh, we really don't need to win as many over um, as we might think. So I think that's a more strategic approach, uh, especially if we look at the lists of who has voted with us in the past, uh, especially on the scholarship tax credit issue. Uh, when the confirmation of Gary Houchins took place, March 28, 2019, Julie Rocky Adams uh, was the one who cast the deciding vote. So that's what this big screen on the bottom is. Uh, she was JCTA endorsed, and so if we can't even count on a JCTA endorsed candidate or, or senator to, to side with us, you know, what, what can we count on when we had people like Steve uh, Meredith taking a chance on us and uh, Jimmy Higdon and uh, uh, Storm, oh, this is the new one, actually, this was this last week uh, when the Senate voted uh, on 563, so you can see, let me move it. Just a second. You can see we had 15 nays. So in the Senate, 15 senators, uh, when only eight of them are Democrats. So that means another seven. Actually, I take that back because two Democrats were out. Uh, Harper Angel and Parrott were not there that day. Harper Angel has a family member in the hospital, I believe. And I'm not sure where Parrott was. And those are both Democrats who would theoretically have voted with us if they were there. So if you look at that, that's 17 that, that we could assume might be with us if they were there that day and we only need 19 to stop it so of the green names here we only need two we only need two more to come over and say we're going to we're going to give you an, another chance jcps and so that's our target list and that's what this list is uh right here these four senators uh where i said we need four senators two of them are the democrats that i already mentioned and then any other two and so um, we had a meeting with Adrian Southworth and tried to uh, appeal to her. She didn't say yes, but she didn't say no. You know, if she sits down and talks with us on Monday, she might give us, you know, one more chance. Um, in the house, this top right hand, you can see I've circled three names. Those are also three JCTA uh, endorsed house reps who didn't stop the vote and they only needed one in the house to stop it. And they couldn't come up with it, even though they had three people there that could have done it. And I only circled three, but Jerry Miller was endorsed by um, uh, JCTA in 2016 also. So he's another one that could have done it. HB9, let me go back and add that. Thank you, Greg. I, I'm, my numbers are getting a little blurry. I haven't been keeping up with it as well as you have. Is the Crown Act in, in our list of supporting bills? Yes. Uh, 
Yes, HB 43, it's the bottom one on that stop sign. Thanks. Or I should say go sign. Um, so any one of those three should have come over. I mean, um, but I don't think we, sh the, the house is too chaotic. Even if we get Gentry to say yes this time, it doesn't mean we won't lose, you know, another one of the hundred because there's so many of them. It's, it's a lot easier for them to get away, you know, like a school of fish and just dart off. So um, I don't want to count on the, the house. I want to stay on the Senate because they're more measured. They're more seasoned. They, many of them have been there a lot longer. Um, so they remember that they were complicit with some of the stuff that they helped create. And so, you know, if they're willing to, uh, to try to do the right thing, this is their chance to do so. And if not, then we're going to make sure that they get replaced this next election cycle. It's that simple. Um, prior to Monday, if people wanted to set up a time to pick it in their, in their district, because the lawmakers are home this weekend, um, I would love to get 10 of my best friends to show up in Julie Rocky Adams uh, front street in the driveway right outside her house for about an hour sometime this weekend if anybody feels like it because, you know, uh, she's my senator and she is, uh, she needs to be made uncomfortable. Uh, I think we should do the same thing to Jason Nemus. I think we should do the same thing to Jerry Miller. I think we could do a little two hour car caravan and stop at three different houses and make them all uncomfortable for a little while. Bring our pots and pans and our noisemakers and picket signs and maybe we do that on Sunday. Just something to think about if you guys uh, let that let that percolate a little bit. Talk with some other people and see if we can get some, some folks interested. And then also we've got an email. Uh, we need to be doing more like email blasts out to people saying, you know, contact your lawmaker, tell them these things. But um, out on saveourschoolsky.org, I have created a, a contact your legislator link. In fact, let me show that to you if it's not. No, those are my articles, but. Um, oh, hold on, I'm going to the website. Can you see the Save Our Schools page? Right now, it's just my, my back end, but hang on, here we go. Um, under contact, uh, contact your legislators. I think that's where I have it. I have it so that you can just in one click, all your all your senators, they'll all just, it'll open up like Outlook and the, all their email addresses will be in the two box. And then I broke the house reps up into A through L and M through Z. So in three clicks, you can email every one of those legislators a message about whatever bills you're concerned about. And then there's some tips especially around 563. I wrote some talking points about the bill uh, and what to include. And then we've got some Twitter handles and uh, some of that's a little bit outdated maybe, but most of it's updated. And uh, so that's another thing we should be telling people to do is if you can't make it to the parade, uh, to the rally, that's great. I understand. So email them, you know, call them and, and, uh, start sharing that information, those phone numbers and everything, and then get them on Twitter. Like I said, let's, let's get those Twitter handles shared and let's plan a time to get out on Twitter, maybe also Sunday sometime. Um, I've got the banners. I didn't do the car magnets after all. I ran out of time. Uh, I'm going to be printing more stop signs. Um, and then that's just the last screen saying sign on. Uh, I think we also need a petition. I started a change.org petition, but it, I think it got a little rambly. You know how I can get. So um, I think it wouldn't be a bad idea to also have a petition, though, that contacts, because it'll, I think it emails them directly every time you hit submit. So that might be a faster way to get people emailing. Thoughts? We still have time. I mean, we still, it's Friday. Monday's still three days away. Two days, full days. We can get some stuff done. Anything else? Is everybody? I'm excited. I think it's going to be fun. I think we're going to have like a, a spring breaky kind of thing, you know? Yeah, I'm trying to get my logs done to get in a spring break kind of frame of mind. 
it's going to be a busy weekend. Yeah. I, th I think there'll be, uh, I don't know if there's, we can spread the word uh, at Roots 101 or I can, whoever's down. I think there'll be a lot of uh, people with similar minds at that event. I agree. Can, uh, have we gotten much feedback from the, uh, from the uh, committee or what, what were we calling the, uh, with Jen and um, uh, others that have signed on for the People's Coalition, People's Agenda? You mean or, like action, the people that were planning the actions? Like the uh, The group of 22. Oh, the decision-making council? Yes, I guess that's what I'm asking. There are 17 of us. And okay. Um, I was going to send them this list of bills so that we could officially say, you know, we had a formal process to decide which bills that we're signing on to, you know, so it's not just, you know, the whim of whomever. And then um, I'll do that this evening. Well, I'm sorry, what else was, what other parts of your question were you, did I not answer? No, I just wanted to, uh, no, that was it. I mean, I just uh, wanted to see what the, where the larger group's feedback stood. I would love it if um, people were paying closer attention, I guess. I don't really think that people get it yet. I just think uh, that- Everyone is just so spread out right now. It's, uh, and that's by design. It yeah. really, it, it's- and so my, my philosophy is more along the lines of uh, if you build it, they will come, right? So I see the need for these things, regardless if there's 10 of us or 100 of us so or 1,000 of us. So let's have a party. And if people show up, great. If not, you know, we tried. I would rather... Well, we have some good conversations. Right. I, 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 and lots of leftovers. Right. <laughs> Take it home to your family, whatever we got to do. You know, the young prodigies, he, if, if you need to get rid of some food, bring in a group of teenagers. That's right. I think it'll be just fine. I think if anything, we'll be like, what were we afraid of? And, uh, uh, you know, and, and if people want to do more, like we kick it off. And if people are like, oh, we should stay all night, be my guest. Here's the, you know, here's the key to the bathroom, you know, whatever, although we don't have a key to the bathroom, but like, you know, we kick it off and it's, you take it over, have fun, more power to you. I'm probably going to leave my tent at home. Your tent? For, the, yeah. for this round. Yeah. Put it in the car. You know, you might change your mind. Might decide to spend the night on the, on the Capitol lawn, gazing at the stars, bring your sleeping sounds bag. Sounds like a beautiful night to, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, the stars anyways. We were going to do that. Uh, we were going to sleep in the Capitol Rotunda. You know, they weren't. They 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 won't let you in after five o'clock, but they can't kick you out. And so we actually sneaked our sleeping bags in, and toothbrushes, and changed the clothes and whatever. We were going to spend the night. Okay, turns... you you and Greg are young. <laughs> Some of us are old. <laughs> well, and it doesn't have to be everyone. You know, we take shifts. So. Oh. I, I helped take over a building, but I was 26 then. <laughs> I just thought it would be a good, you know, we, we also need to look for good press opportunities. You know, Meredith singing is going to be a great press opportunity. We want to make sure that people see that. There might be some other moments that are, you know, that are, that are planned ahead of time. If anybody wants to help me plan some, some little skirmishes that are actually, you know, uh, what do they used to call those? Um, there for a while, flash dance or whatever. Oh, flash mob. Flash mob. We could plan some little flash mob type activities when everybody's like, what just happened? You know, and, and we're in on it, but they're not, you know, every hour we could have something going on. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Uh, okay. Choreography okay. and some practice. Meredith might be good at that. She's got some talent. Oh, for, wait, first of all, you don't have to dance. You right. just have to sing. Have you ever seen those flash mobs that we're doing across the country for La Miz? And the song is the perfect song for us. Can you hear the, I missed my exit, dang. Can you hear the people sing, singing songs of angry men? 
That's perfect. All right, so you're gonna lead us in that one or who's-, who's I up? can lead you in that one and I will even make copies of the lyrics. I, I need the lyrics, yep. Excellent. You know, we're gonna do a, a chorus for Meredith's song too. So we can have a song sheet with a few different things on it. And Greg, you're working on the uh, playlist, right? Did you have any luck with that? Yeah, I've got, I can, I can go all day. I mean, I've got several channels already built that could work for the situation. Yeah. Well, um, People Get Ready is my favorite song right now. People get ready. So add that do you want to do that one instead? No, 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 no. Greg's putting together a song list to play all day. And I'm just asking. Oh, you to I see. So that's not for our fly. And I'm sorry I'm late. As you can tell by the pictures of my thigh, I'm just, I'm in the car, just getting out of work. All right. I am sorry I'm late. To be honest with you, I was working till 4.30 and I could have gotten in then, but I just forgot. That is all right. That this is all day right. Has been a well, day we, hell. we recorded the show, so you're welcome to watch it. Meredith performed for us, so I do encourage you to watch it. I will totally watch it. And Meredith, will you sing the refrain for us so we uh, know what we're putting on our on our sheet? Yeah, so for the sheet, it would be the um, bridge. So it would be, um, we write you every week with all of our concerns, but it appears you only care about what you're getting in return. Oh, but dear Mr. Congressman, we got our eyes on you. No, you oh my God. That is the bomb. Isn't it? Yes. I knew you'd like it. So we'll have some some chants and stuff too, maybe, and make some copies. That's some some of the stuff we can work on, and I can print up at work when we get closer to uh, Sunday afternoon or whatever. So just anything you come across, anything that you guys send want to send me, um, just feel free, and we'll try to get it all put together. And it's a bit cliche, but we probably should have Twisted Sisters. We're not going to take it. I mean, for old time's sake. Absolutely. Hopefully, it's great. the teacher's national anthem. Writing down requests now. Excellent. Excellent. Does anyone else have any other questions or concerns? Randy's not going to be able to join us because he needs to protect his health. Um, Unless you want to I'm going to try to bring surfs. So, excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, we're going to meet in the parking, the Sam's parking lot, off of Blink and Baker at 7 a.m. and go from there. So that's who. who I will not be able to caravan because Nicole is not coming with us. Oh shoot! I can't bring Phil. I just realized because who's going to pick up Nicole from school? Damn. I'm on spring break, but she had her spring break that ended this week. Oh, bummer. So yeah, they, they don't coincide, dang. Okay, it'll be Phil, La, and Al, I guess. And I'll leave, I mean, um, Bill, La, and Al, and I can't take Phil because he's the only other driver. Shoot, I was counting on Phil to carry heavy stuff for everybody. Well, there goes that. Okay, sorry. So what time I will you have some surfs? What time will you be joining us? Uh, I got to drop off Nicole and then uh, she, I drop her off at nine and then we head out to Frankfurt. Okay. Um, Greg is going to- oh, 45 be, minutes after that. Greg, okay. Greg is going to be um, working with Bob to get signs out somewhere. So uh we could still meet at the walmart parking or the sam's parking lot at seven uh and and you guys could leave from there does that still work for you greg uh which sam's there's a sam's um, off of middle Blank town and yeah i gotcha yeah seven o'clock on monday yes monday morning and yep. meredith your mom is bringing you what time are you guys coming out um, I'm going to talk to her when she gets off work, but I'm going to see if we can join the caravan. Okay. 
And Randy, even though you can't come and table with us, if you want to be part of the caravan, you're more than welcome. Okay, uh, I'll see about that. I've sort of been benched. I understand. And it, it, I don't want to add any stress to whatever. I'm just throwing that out there. Um, and then I'll circle back with, with Jen and Nicole to make sure they're working on keeping uh, their lists going and getting people signed up and just help us direct people to them to sign up. Like I said, Yvonne, like I said before you got on, you know, my, it's probably better if it's not coming from me that, you know, if you guys are the ones sharing the links and the sign up pages and stuff, because, you know, distance me from it. Um, even though people, people know, I mean, whatever, I don't care. I'm not saying that. I know. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, something to add. I heard back from Eddie. Oh, good. And I sent that to you, I think. In email? In text, I think. Oh. But I could send an email. If, you know, I'll send it again by email. You know, he seemed interested. I'm going to text him again when I get home. You know, I don't like to do any of that at school because some people can be on Twitter and Facebook and whatever else all day long. But I know that is not me. Right. So, you know, exactly. I'm going to be Caesar's wife. Exactly. Um, you know. The bills, I know you're driving, so you may not be able to look. I'm going to send this list of bills around to the decision making council uh, for the bills that we have agreed that we are opposed to and support. And uh, um, do you need do you need poster makers for this weekend? So I'm going to be up at my shop making things. And so what I offered was if people need to use my supplies or my space, they're more than welcome to come up there. But I, I don't ne necessarily need, uh, I want everybody to do their own thing, right? Like okay, I so I'll, I'll, I'll have some posters and get, uh, you know, I've got Nicole and Laura on the weekend, you know, on the weekend, I, I don't, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I don't have Laura or, um, not Laura, the other Laura, Alex or Phil. Hey, nice. You know. I like Greg's shirt. I'm going to give away the rest of my It's Our Time JCTA shirts. I've got a ton of It's Our Time JCTA yard signs. So what I was going to do is make some kind of thing that says rigged and stick it to the yard signs so we can stick them in a little place. So that that's part of our message is, you know, even our elections are rigged. Help us. We need it. We need you to recognize that we have been sabotaged by our own leaders. Help us. We're trying. Well, the fact that we're putting this together and they are not. Exactly. They're telling people to call their legislator. Really? Right. Really? Right. Okay. Exactly. Oh, I, I, that's that's what the yellow scarf people do. They don't show up. They just tell their churches to write. Right. No, they bust their friggin' school children in. Jeez, right. Pete. Right, 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 right. And then we're not even having teachers call their call their Al Gentries and tell them. So then they're like, well, I heard from more. Uh, my Catholic community is more concerned because they're the ones I heard from, even though they only make up 20% of the population. And uh, here comes Jen. And uh, uh, hang on. And 80% um, of the kids that live in his district use public schools. Yeah. So whatever. So, hey Jen, we're just wrapping up, but um, okay. I can uh, introduce you to everybody. They don't know anybody, everybody here yet. You, you may not know Meredith. Meredith is gonna perform for us Monday. Hey, Meredith. What are you going to do on Monday? I'm going to sing a song that I wrote called Dear Mr. Congressman. Okay. okay. It is the bomb. She goes to make fuels. Uh, Jen is Malia's mom. Do you know Malia Spalding? Yeah. Meredith? My baby. Are you in the MST program too? No, I'm actually a senior at Y-Pass. 
Oh, did you get the good news that y'all are going to have an actual graduation on the 28th? I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to uh, re-clarify that I do want to go because I said that I didn't want to go back in January, but I changed my mind. So I have to reach out to the administration. Yeah, things, are, things are starting to look better, I have to say. All you have to do is fill out the request, that form, that they'll, they should have sent your mom a form in the, uh, in the email. And because Malia wants, I don't want Malia to go back, but she wants to go back, so... Um, her daddy said she's got to start making her own decision. So she's going to be going back. I've decided to stay home, but more power to her. I feel like it, it's everybody's decision. That's, yeah. I think, the beauty of being able to decide. So, yeah. Yep. So um, Jen is the, the one that we were talking about as far as the car caravan that morning. And so Jen, what we were thinking was meeting up. In fact, I can share my screen again. I think I... we are talking about meeting up at the Sam's parking lot at 7 a.m. over there off of Blankenbaker and 64 and uh, arrive like from 7 to 7.30, kind of rendezvous, paint our windows if that's what people want to do, talk about the plan, like we'll show everybody a map and we'll say this is where we're driving in, this is how many times we're going to do the circle, and this is where we're going to stop our cars and this is what we're going to do, and just have, the, have everybody on the same page before we go, and then um, uh, try to be there by 8.30. Okay. So we so need to leave. meet at Sam's, meet at Sam's, Blanket Baker, okay, Sam's, around 7.30. Yes, we're going to leave, we're going to leave by 7.30. So be there anytime before 7.30 and you can caravan with us. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try to get there by 7. So, if, you know, but people wander in between 7 and 7.15 or whatever. Maybe I'll even have coffee for people. Why not? Um people can kind of wander in and and get familiar with who they're riding with and what we're doing and then we'll take off at 7 30. and then we're going to make i think um, we should make, go ahead do you want sodas you know i got a clout to get really cheap sodas are they <laughs> or do we have to serve them are they what they would just have to drink them out of a can and be grateful Okay, I, I didn't want the two liter where we're having to serve people. No, 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 no. What, do you think I've lost my mind? <laughs> okay, yes, I have, but not over this. That'd be great. We are accepting donations of food and cash, so. How many, how many sodas do we want? So I'm, I'm preparing for 100 people, to feed 100 people. So 12. if we have enough people where not everybody ate, but twice as many people wanted a soda, then we might want more sodas. I don't know. That's um, what I'm thinking. Okay, let's hold on. They come in a 12 pack. So a uh, hundred would be eight 12 packs just for the food. I'm rounding around. So... Do you have like, do you have like, like fruit punch in the can or like lemonade or is it all just Coke? And no, I got, it's, it's, it's what Kroger has, the Kroger brand. I get a good deal okay. on that. Cool. So it would be, I'd get some Diet Coke, some regular Cokes, some lemon lime. You some don't tea. want the Kroger orange. I'm here to tell you, you don't. They may have a fruit punch. I know they have a ginger ale. Yeah. Yeah, because some people don't drink soda. No, I was just, yeah. I tried. Yeah, I think they have a fruit punch in a can. I do not know. Right. Oh, uh, but I'm like 75% sure they do. And, you know, we're not going to count on Yvonne to bring everyone's beverages. So other people can bring <laughs> lemonades and waters and what have, what have you. Like, we'll have a place where people can drop off donations and um that way if, if people have a specific 
preference, they can they can bring that for everyone to share. Um, I, I switched back to the map because I want to talk about the parade route, like when we drive in from the caravan, what we're going to be doing. So um, my screen is kind of covered up. I'm going to move this around. Can you see my mouse moving? Yes. OK. So right here is the street that you drive in when you're coming from, you're coming down that hill from Louisville. We came under the bridge, and then you come up here. And so we're going to come in through here and make a loop and honk our horns and make some noise and whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, it's cut off here, so you can't see that there's a circle right here. But then we'll come into the circle. Let's like do the circle once and then come back up here. And then let's go again. Do 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 the circle again. Come back up here. This time we're gonna park our cars along this road right here, so that we've got four or five cars on this side of the brake, and four you know two cars is all we can really fit on this side of the brake. And then as legislators come through or anybody comes through, we're gonna be standing outside of our cars holding banners, so they're gonna have to see us and drive through and, and, and look us in the eye. And I'm calling that the parade arcade because we're creating a little barricade at the end of our parade. And they may run us off and that's fine. We'll go park on the, on the uh, parking lot as soon as they do. But, you know, let's try it. Let's see what happens. And then we move to here. That's around 8.30. We move to here by nine. So we'll be on the terrace by nine. And we'll have a press conference right here at that main Kara spot right here actually. Any questions about any of that? Any changes you guys want to make? Any suggestions? Sounds fine to me. Okay, good. Yep. You know the layout better than I do. And I also, oh, I wanted to say this too. Um, you guys remember the Fool's Mate group that we used for the, when we were doing the Believe in Booker campaign? Yeah. I, I uh, live streamed in there twice today. Um, I think everybody except Meredith is a member. Maybe Randy needs to be added. So I'll add Randy and Meredith if you guys want to go into that group and just see what I posted. I live streamed uh, the locations and and what we were doing so you can see the video and see me walking around and so you can see where I'm talking about these cars parking, etc. I actually got out. Okay. No. Now what um, are you talking about with the cones? What about the cones? Right. right. They were gonna cone off an, an yeah. area and that you were gonna have someone stand there. And that so that's a different area than I'm thinking of it. Is that's it? right. Can you see my mouse here? That's right here in front of the annex. There's like a whole row of parking spaces all the way across and I'm having her hold the, the first half. So there's like eight spaces here. And that's where our, our pork, uh, pork and chicken uh, barbecue truck will be. He's got a smoker. So he, he we're going to park him right there. And then the ice cream truck. Latanya Bland is bringing her ice cream truck and she's stocking it like I've, I'm paying her to stock her truck. And then she's going to give it away because we're not allowed to sell anything on uh, the capital properties. So we're going to ask for donations. We're going to have a suggested donation amount, kind of like you're at a carnival with tickets, only it's uh, whatever you can afford. Now, can I have this little map to post on JCPS Leads? You can do whatever you think you need to do. Where, where does this map exist? This is that Google slide that I emailed and put in Messenger, but I can send it to you again. Oh, you know I'm a hot mess. It's you all, know I'm a hot mess. All right. That's why I wanted to have this call and go through it with everybody. So I'm glad you are looking at it and that, that you're finding things in here that are worth sharing. Um, I will email it. I'll put it in the student assignment chat and in the fool's mate group again. Wonderful. Uh, if you've got it there, then I can steal it for JCPS leads and absolutely. give it a plug. Ola. I've just driven it home, but it's better to just finish off in the car. I'm thinking there's a zoomed out version here. If you want a bigger one, uh, I think the tighter one that shows, Hey, where are you headed is there. 
and I might add another circle where the parking is. Where is the parking anyway? Here, top left. Over there. Most excellent. I'll make that a big blue whatever, and then this is, yeah. And we also have a porta potty up there. So when people say, oh my gosh, I got to go to the bathroom, where do I go? You got to direct them to this porta potty up here on that parking garage level. And that's- Tell everybody to wear red, of course. Yep. It Bring should go without saying, but nothing goes without saying. Bring pots and pans so you can make noise, you know, bring a spatula and a cookie sheet or something that you can bang because there may be appropriate times for us to, to, to make some noise. And um, yeah, I think we need to have a TV where people can watch the legislative session outside while they're doing their dirty deeds. We can be watching them. I'll try to bring something, but if you guys have, we have a TV or do we do that on an iPad? Whatever you've got. I think we probably need them scattered throughout. So if I bring one and you bring one and maybe mine works and yours doesn't or yours works and mine doesn't, I think. I'll have Bill, you know, I can't work an iPad. Yeah, but Bill, we've got one. I think we need to be prepared for people to be watching like we're in some kind of horse, horse race track or whatever. We need to see the, when the, when the horses post their bets or whatever you call that <laughs> when they what's it called when they post up is that a term i don't know you know oh, it's the basketball post. gay what's it called greg a post up is a basketball move uh, uh yeah, called to the post called to the post. yeah all right well we got to watch them when they're called to the post okay anything else I'm fundraising, Yvonne, I think you came on later. I've got a cash app, first six letters of my name, G-A-Y-A-D-E. And the Kentuckians for Real Option PAC donation link is also still up. And anything that we're paying for is gonna be paid for by the PAC. Well, I'm just, instead of donating money, I'm just gonna go ahead and just buy the sodas. Yes, I'm asking and you to share the links for others to donate. I'm not asking- Okay, you. okay, okay, okay. You know, send me the, the links, okay? Yeah, I will. I'm going to probably take a break and eat and maybe go buy some wine because I think I'm out of wine. And then I'll... <laughs> it's Friday. Yeah. Yay. Oh, and the weather was so beautiful today and it's going to be similar on Monday. I think it's going to be great, you guys. I look forward to seeing everybody out there. We're going to do this. You know, if we stop one bill, if we stop this voucher bill, it's worth it. Exactly right. But we might actually- And you know, we will have done what nobody else has bothered to do. Yeah. I mean, that's it's a fact. Kind of sad. It is sad. Uh, I'm sending a, a little email telling everybody to call their legislator. Go you. You know, when you like really give a damn, that's not what you do. 15 years. 15 or more years, it's been kind of uh, milk toast, just like that. You know, when you care about something, that's not how you do it. So whatever. That's not what the yellow scarf people do. That's right. That's not what the Women's March did. You know, the people who really give a damn about what they're doing, uh, that is not. I mean, I'm not saying you don't do that too, but it doesn't begin and end there. Sorry for being a B-I-D-C-H. This is Red Barrel Barbecue's smoker. Can you see my screen still? Oh my God, it's as big as a friggin' train engine. He's got a truck that he pulls it behind too, a big red truck. And his food is fantastic. That's Look a that. thing of beauty. They cooked for us at the Believe in Booker event too. You guys remember? you have any of his food. I think it was mostly hamburgers and hot dogs though. We're actually doing ribs and pulled pork and chicken. Good, cause some people keep halal, not me, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, anything else guys? I... <sighs> I'm out. I'll catch you later. I'll look for those links. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Sorry, I'll look for I guess, Gay, we ought to mention. <laughs>
uh, Avon and I are putting together those drafts on the opt out things we should plan to talk about that. I guess we, did you put that on the Monday agenda? I can, I certainly will. It, it's going to be honest before we know it. It is going to be honest before we know it. I saw somebody post, I can't believe they're making us take prep, uh, K prep. So is it official? Like they're moving, like they are showing you their hand that that's the plan? I yep. heard today in the hall, at my very school about making sure that all the little computers are ready for testing. Mm -hmm. So okay. they are preparing for yeah. the possibility. Let's have, let's have information about that. Uh, let's have a table about that on Monday. Like let's, let's leave people handouts, how to opt out, direct them to a website, something, you know, even if it's just a business card for now. That they say, you know, I may need this. Okay, that's and then I we'll think we need there. some uh, QR codes for the opt outs. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. And you know, we can always up the content later. Like, just have a way to hook them now. Go sign up for more information here. Fill out this clipboard. Whatever we need to do to capture people that are concerned about this. Right. So. Get your organizations that you work with or that you're familiar with. Like I said at the beginning of this call, when you, as we were going through this, you were thinking about others that might take an opportunity to have a take. He was making a confusing line for the world, so I was like, unsure what he was planning on doing. If they have bills that they're concerned about, let us know. I was unsure, like, was he planning on doing this? Okay, gay. Uh, right. it, it's going to be a busy weekend, but I'll be, 